Hey science fans, long time no see. So today I'm going to be looking at something that I'm doing with a lot of year nines, which is evolution of the Earth's atmosphere. So this is really good revision as well if you're in year, you are in year 11. Um, so we're going to look at how the levels of carbon dioxide and oxygen and nitrogen have changed over the evolution of the Earth's atmosphere. This is for everybody, triple trilogy chemistry, basically anyone that is doing any of the sciences needs to know how the atmosphere has changed. This can then move on to look at impact, global warming, all of those types of things. Let's get going. Worth saying, pay attention to the amount of links that we have to biology and other parts of chemistry in this. That's important. Now let's go. Right, here's my revision page. I'm essentially going to split it into four times. So one is 4.6 billion years ago. BYA. Uh, stage two is 3.4 billion years ago. Step three is 2.7 billion years ago. And step four is 2,000, sorry, 2,200 million years ago until now. Okay. And what I'm going to do is just sort of a little description here. And then down here, I'm going to talk about what's happening to the oxygen levels and the carbon dioxide levels, because these are the two main gases that we're really interested in, because they have the biggest change. Nitrogen also changes, but not in such huge amounts. Right. So 4.6 billion years ago, that's about how old we think the Earth is. And the Earth initially was essentially a volcanic nightmare. So in the atmosphere here, we've got water, we've got carbon dioxide, we've got methane, we've got nitrogen, we've got ammonia, zero oxygen. High levels of CO2. I'm just going to write lots there. So that's sort of the overview of what's going on. There's no life. It's just this gaseous horrendousness. And then we're moving into 3.4 billion years ago, and this is where something really useful happens. This is where the oceans begin to form. And that happens because the water from the atmosphere condenses. Okay, this is sort of where we're seeing first life. Um, and what, by that, I mean simple like bacteria that do chemosynthesis. So they are basically making food from chemicals. And we still see these kind of like old archaic type bacteria and that's a good link to when we're doing classification um still not really a whole bunch of oxygen um and still lots of carbon dioxide being produced however it has started to decrease somewhat because we've now got the oceans so we've got some of this carbon dioxide is becoming locked in the sediments so locked in uh, rock sedimentary rocks underneath the ocean bed now, starts to kick off 2.7 .7 billion years ago, um, because this is when we have the first bits of life um, and other simple organisms evolving. So we've now got things like algae and bacteria, and we've also now starting to get some plants. So we've got evolution of organisms, and these organisms tend to do photosynthesis. Now this photosynthesis of course is taking that carbon dioxide out the atmosphere, reacting it with oxygen in, not oxygen, water, um, in cells to create glucose and oxygen. What is the matter with me today? And oxygen and so this is the first time we've now got increase oxygen in the atmosphere due to photosynthesis. Carbon, meanwhile, is still going down. It's still becoming locked into sediments, into crustaceans, into trees and plants, all sorts of things. The carbon is decreasing because it is being used in this process of photosynthesis. Now, of course, we have got all sorts of animals evolved and organisms evolved that use that oxygen. I don't know why, for some reason, it's a rabbit. Don't know why that's happening. Um, so we have, are now evolving organisms that take in oxygen and release carbon dioxide. So we now have an oxygen at about 21% oxygen. Carbon dioxide now has gone down to 0.04%. However... That number is creeping up due to human impact. 
Nitrogen, meanwhile, is about 78, 79%, and then we've got lots of other gases. But it has been relatively stable due to the evolution of organisms using that oxygen. And that is everything you need to know about the evolving atmosphere. Now, there's a really good link here to the um, carbon cycle and the particulates in the atmosphere, because remember that carbon dioxide gets locked in plants, animals, etc., that die and get buried under millions of tonnes of sediment over millions of years. Most of it's forming calcium carbonate shells, just ooh, squished down. That's how fossil fuels are made, made of hydrocarbons, compounds with hydrogen and carbon only. We then dig them up, burn them for a nice bit of electricity or for moving cars or whatever, and then that then causes carbon dioxide, combustion causes carbon dioxide to go into our atmosphere, raising the amount of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere, absorbing that long wave radiation from the sun. Global warming, climate change, greenhouse effect, bad times. We need to leave those fossils in the ground. Just a thought. Thanks for listening. Bye.